Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> sorry about that. I had my mic muted. Um, sorry, I, I was like freaking out for a little bit because my keyboard wasn't working for some reason. So I had to like literally like go in my history, find YouTube, <laughs> start streaming from YouTube. So sorry for a little bit of a delay there. But how's everyone doing tonight? Wow, good to see you guys. Did you enjoy your five minute break between uh, Perry's stream and mine? I know I did because I had to like rush together everything because <laughs> we are doing a blind rye flight tonight so i it's not a double blind it's just a regular blind i have never had any of these products before so um that's exciting <laughs> but um of course i gotta start out to cleanse my palette with something i poured a little bit of y'all know my, my default palette cleansing rye Dickel rye. <laughs> now, th none of these are like Dickel rye. I just grabbed this one because I wanted something rye-ish to get started. Um, but first, what are you guys drinking? Um, I know Perry was doing some Texas whiskey. So y'all still on Texas whiskey? Y'all ready to move on to rye? The pizza was great, Don. <laughs> I let it cool off. I, I, I maintained myself. It's just so hard when it's sitting there in front of you and you're like, I want it so bad. But I was like, it will ruin this entire flight if I eat it while it's hot. So, um... But how's everyone doing tonight? Um, Brandon, shout outs to everyone. Brandon, uh, Donnie, Don, Diana, Perry, Chris. Um, and I still seem to be having some internet issues. So the weird thing is, okay, here's my weird thing. When I'm on StreamYard, I don't have internet issues. It's only when I'm using OBS. Do you, Perry, do you use OBS? What do you use for your streams? Because has it been acting up lately? I don't know what's going on. So hopefully y'all, I'm sorry to make you deal with this again. Um, I, I really have no idea what's using my... Oop, I know. I know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm just double-checking to make sure what's using my data now that we're seeing issues here. I want to get them sorted out before we get going fully. Um, yeah, literally nothing is using my data. Like, <laughs> it's weird. It's literally just OBS using my data. I don't I don't understand. So Ah, so some of you guys aren't drinking tonight. I'm I'm so baffled by this data issue because because it, it literally was fine when I used StreamYard. I'm just gonna open up one little thing real quick just to monitor it while we're doing this because I wanna make sure we are in the clear. Okay, so, sorry for any internet issues. I gotta give you all the heads up again. I don't know what's happening. This didn't start until the quarantine. Um, yeah, I, I think it's OBS, honestly. I need to look into something else because this, this literally has only happened when I'm streaming with OBS. It's, all, it's never happened on StreamYard. I don't, I don't understand. So, maybe we'll just start broadcasting through StreamYard. I don't know. <laughs> so, we're just gonna keep going tonight, um, but I'm gonna definitely research this now that I know it's not just my internet connection. So, anyways... Gonna drink some dickle right. Yeah, Donnie, it keeps cutting out, and I, I'm literally monitoring it, and I see no reason why it should keep cutting out. No, my work email's not open, Brandon. I made sure to close it. And I, that's why I brought up this like little monitor thing to make sure it wasn't trying to do something in the background. Cool. So, oh wow, that dickle rise. It bites. Being my first like bourbon of the night, or bourbon, my first whiskey of the night. Um, definitely bites, but you know, I enjoy it. So I thought it'd be fun to get started with that and then, um, go into the spine flight. Now I'll tell you guys what I'm drinking. Um, we can decide if you guys want to know what is what while I'm going through, but I want to introduce all of the whiskeys tonight. So we are going to get started with, um, I'm going to read it out in case I freeze up for you guys. For in the past, you guys could still hear me. Correct. You, my, my video just froze. Um, just want to make sure that you guys could still hear me. So, yeah, Donnie, it's not your end. It's, it's definitely on my end. I know that for sure. Um, yeah, that's not, I know, I'm sorry. I literally, I have a window right here. I'm right on a busy street. <laughs> so, our pours for tonight will be, so four, or one, two, how many of these? We have four pours. Um, one of them, um, Brandon, who is in the chat, gave me this bottle during a secret santa um gift swap so this is a single barrel knob creek rye um it's a pick from high times wine cellars it is a seven year old rye from knob creek i have not had this yet 
excited to try it. Um, so we got that one. We also have a, you guys know when I did that blind rye flight, the Willet. So, so a couple weeks ago, you may have missed it, but a couple weeks ago I did a blind rye flight, not a store pick, just random regular ryes. It's like a high proof rye thing. Willet ended up, well, mm, spoiler alert, Willet ended up winning that one. So this one is a Willet single barrel pick. Um, this one's called Blow Your Mind um, from Lincoln Road. I don't know too much on that, but this is from my good friend Richie. Um, he sent me the, uh, the remainders of these. So Brandon sent that one and the rest are from Richie. Um, I also, um, Ian's not in the chat, but another one we'll be drinking is a New Riff single barrel. Oh, come on, focus. Oh, well. Anyways, it's 112.5 proof. And then finally, we'll be drinking a Jack Daniels, hence the hat, um, with cat hair all over it. <laughs> single barrel rye. This is from Prav Seraf. I don't, I'm not familiar with this, so I'm going to have to check with Richie after to see. Why is my autofocus not working? I don't know. Oh, wait, there we go. Yeah, so it's called Mandalorian. Get it? Mandalorian. Um, it is a 94 proof Jack Daniels single barrel rye. So, like I said, not had any of these. I've had a New Riff rye. Um, I've had, what are the others? I've had Knob Creek rye, but never these particular picks. So I thought it'd be fun, you know, to delve into a bunch of different distilleries, a bunch of different store picks. Let's just have some variety and we'll see who wins. So I have no bias. I mean, y'all know I love Knob Creek, but I also like New Riff and that will it won my blind flight. So, so it's going to be an interesting showdown for sure. Um, but yeah, so you guys pour some, you don't have to pour rye if you don't like rye, don't pour rye, but pour something, sit back, relax. I don't know why I'm saying this, but I need to sit back and relax myself. <laughs> oh, proud pick. Oh, hey, Perry, you know something about this. Um, so Brian says Knob Creek rye makes an absolute best old fashioned. Oh yeah. I love, I love high proof ryes in an old fashioned. Um, what is, okay. So Brian, you know about Lincoln road. Um, and Perry, you know about Prav pick. So tell me, give me some info. Cause I, I really don't know much about them <laughs> again, not to give myself bias bias, but, um, yeah. So I'm going to take one sip of dickle rye just to cleanse my palate a bit. So I don't taste pizza this whole tasting. Thank you very much, Brandon. Um, yes, I really do appreciate likes. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Um, I go live on every Thursday doing a bunch of different whiskey reviews. Sometimes they're blind. Sometimes they're just random reviews. So yeah, I'd love if you could subscribe and hit the like button. And um, by the way, in two weeks, just a little shout out. I am actually going to be going live on my birthday because my birthday falls on a Thursday. So um, if y'all want to be part of my birthday party, since I'm obviously not going anywhere, <laughs> um, hit me up. Or not hit me up, but tune in two weeks from now. I'm still going to go live next week, but two weeks from now, I got something really cool planned for my birth birthday stream. So if y'all are interested in that, I, I might do something like where you guys can call in and leave me a voicemail. I'm going to do something crazy with the super chats on that stream. I'm li <laughs> I'm literally going to like chug some bottles. I'll just say that. So yeah, if, if, if y'all are free on Thursday, May 7th, I'd love to have y'all here since I can't celebrate in real life. <laughs> so um, yeah, but anyways, with that said, let's go ahead and, um, grab our glasses and go in for number one. Now, do you guys want to know, okay, I think I like what I did last time. Last time I went through them all, all once, revealed to you guys what they were, and then went back through them. So I'll, I'll do that again. Um, um, yeah, so I'm watching my internet drop, but there's literally no reason why it dropped. I'm, I'm, I literally have a monitor over here. I would share my screen with you guys. Um, yeah, I, I blame Corona. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's go into glass number one. Oh yeah, Cliffy will come out. I mean, literally, <laughs> I literally think I'm gonna do some shots with some super chats for that stream. So y'all stay tuned. I think, I think that might be fun. So let's go into glass number one. Um, now if you guys, if you guys get bored and you want to, um, know what I'm drinking as I'm drinking it, please let me know. I'll, I'll show you the results first. I see my internet completely cut out. Oh, that's not good. Okay. I think we're back up again. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why that's happening. I, I have no reason for that to be happening. So if y'all can hear, hear me and see me, give me a thumbs up. Um, or if you can at least hear me. <laughs> um, so we're going to number one. 
Um, so Brandon says you want to know. You want to know, yeah, <laughs> that Rona. Um, so I'll just go through them really quickly first because you really can't give a good first imp- I can give a good first impression, but I can't give a good bias opinion, whatever, on the first glass. So cheers to the first glass. On the nose, I don't have anything to compare it to. So smells a little like a rye. Definitely not like that dickle rye. It smells like a rye, though. Ooh. There's a nice spice on that one, honestly. It almost is like pepper. I almost feel like I need to sneeze. Don't worry, I'm not sick. If, if so, I, I have a mask here if I need to wear it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's spicy. There's not really that long of a finish on this one, though. Um, okay, thank you guys for the thumbs up. Wow, that, that delay is real bad. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, first one, it was good. Um, I don't think it had the best finish, though. I like a really long lingering finish on my rise, especially. So, um, so let's move on to the second one. Like I said, I always like to revisit the first one because it's not fair to give an opinion on it when I have nothing to compare it to. So, oh, second one is banana. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder which brand's rye tastes like banana. What do you guys think? I don't actually know. <laughs> Just a guess. But I have banana all the way on this one yeah if that's not what i think it is then i am severely severely wrong <laughs> um so yeah there's all banana on the second one let's go ahead and give it a sip yeah it's not even like is that even a rye let's be honest that's like it's now this isn't a Please don't take this as a judgment about the pick in general. It could just be the whiskey, you know, it's, it's the best it can be. Um, no pause, skip while viewing. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, yeah, so that, that's like a banana runt. So that's not like a natural banana, like, you know, fruit. <laughs> that's like super sugary sweet. There is that rice spice, but it's on the very back end. Um, not my favorite. Not my favorite. Um taste profile of the night I'll, I'll be i'll be honest but it's interesting sure enough so we'll move on to number three again i'm going to reveal these to you guys once i get all the way through them okay on the nose number three is a lot better it's very similar to number one oh that one's really nice that one's super oaky the finish on that one is superior to both the first two. Also, the um, the sorry, I'm watching my connection. I guess I saw some spikes. Oh yeah, that one's that one's real good. Number three is real good so far. So let's move on. To number four. I'm only rushing through these so I can show you guys the results. Oh, this one's almost been this one's banana e too. Oh, that's weird. Um, wasn't expecting. Oh, wow, that's like. It's like if you had a marshmallow that was lightly banana <laughs> flavored. Um, it's very amusement parky. I mean, I say amusement park, but I, that like marshmallow cotton candy. Oh, that one's interesting. Whoa. Whoa. I've never had a whiskey that taste, smelled like that. So let's go ahead and give it a taste to see if it is the same. Really, really dry. Ooh, that one's weird. Whoa. Dry. There is more sweetness on the end, but that, that nose is extremely sweet. Um, finish isn't quite as long as the third one, but that one's, whoa, that one's weird. I am excited to know the results, but before I get to the results, I'm going to show you guys the results so I can go back through and pick some favorites. So, all right, I'm not going to look. Now, let me know if you can or can't see this. I think they're over there. Um, if it freezes up and y'all miss this, please let me know. I think it might have just frozen up. So if it freezes up and y'all need to see it again, I'm happy to show it again. I just want to um, not look at it myself. So this is the results. If these are the wrong results, let me know because <laughs> I just opened this book. Um, so there's a one, two, three, and four. So I'll show you guys again if y'all if y'all missed that. Ooh, okay. I'm ready for round two to go back through. Hopefully my internet connection is too. <laughs> I don't, I, yeah, I have no explanation. Donnie, I need an IT guy over here. I know you're not quite IT, but 
<sighs> okay, so going back through, I'll go, no, I'll go first to last again. So number one, okay, number one, it smells really nice on the nose. I'm not, I'm not all put by the nose at all. It's a little wry, but it's, it's, it's not the most wry forward nose on any of them. It's really vanilla. Like it's not the normal, like caramel, vanilla, like generic thing you say about whiskey. It's really vanilla forward. And it's like almost like an extract with some like spearmint. Like if you had like a vanilla mint pie, I would say that. Um, really, really nice on the nose. Honestly, I, I really do dig this nose. Yeah, does not quite, I think it's the proof that's hurting this one, honestly. Although I thought most of these were pretty high proof. Jack Daniels is 94, New Riff is 112, Willet is 115, and a Knob Creek is 115. So whatever the, the first one is, that proof is not coming through on the palette. I, I don't get a high proof at all on that one. Yeah, I mean, the, the flavor, don't get me wrong, the flavor is fantastic. Um, for a pick for whatever whiskey distillery this is, great pick. I, I really like the, I mean, they did the best they could. They can't, they can't increase the proof of a store pick. I mean, don't we all wish, don't we all wish we'd get some barrel proof Elijah Craig picks? I mean, oh, that'd be heaven, like literal heaven. Um, <laughs> so let's move to number two, which is the banana. I think I was right. I mean, y'all know, y'all know, I don't know. I think number two was very banana-y, so let's go ahead and revisit number two. On the nose, it's like runts, like not even, like, I don't even think regular Jack Daniels is like this straight up runts. Sweet, super, super sweet, like candy sweet. Lower proof. I mean, it's interesting, but that rye is hidden behind that runts flavor like i don't ever get that much runs even on a jack daniel so that one's weird mm, i don't know i guess it's maybe if you're combining the rye flavors with the tennessee processed flavors i don't know but i'm, I'm not feeling number two i'll tell you all that number three though i think i remember this being my favorite so go ahead number three and once i go to the reveal i'm happy to taste these through with you guys knowing what they are um i get your thoughts and opinions so uh morning lil good morning good to see you um i know <laughs> chris said you just woke up recently by the way, I am reading the chat, um, just trying to process all this. <laughs> Don says, I'm healthcare IT, but can only help if you need a PowerPoint document. Unfortunately, I don't think a PowerPoint would help me right now, but I appreciate it. <sighs> hey, Chris Big Feets is here. Nice to see you. Um, S. Schro Schroeder. I don't think I've seen you before, but welcome. You may have been here before. I'm sorry. I don't, rec I don't recognize the name, but um, if you're new here, welcome. Good to see you. Which Patrick, I don't think you've been here before either. Like we talked, we talked, but I don't think you've been here. <laughs> yeah, number three on the nose is lots of oak. This one smells old, which hmm, smells old. I know the Willet is a what is the age on the Willet? The Willet is a six year. Okay, that's that's kind of old, older than I thought. There, there's some age really, really bearing down on number three, and I think it contributes to the extremely long finish. Yeah, lots of oak. I mean, this doesn't drink like a rye at all. I would never in a million years guess this is a rye. On the palate, it's oaky, like really oaky. Like almost as oaky as like a 14-year-old Knob Creek um, bourbon. So this one's really, really weird, but I dig that oak flavor. Uh, what's up? We have three Chris's in the chat. What's up, Christopher Kilman? We have three Chris's. So I'm going to call you Christopher. I'm going to call him Big Face, and I'm going to call Chris... Aussie Chris. I don't know. <laughs> um, good to see all y'all. Um, so S. Schroeder, Schroeder says, um, new to here, called you out on being tired on I Whiskey She Wines. Oh gosh, you were part of that stream. Yeah, we don't talk about that stream here. Just kidding. Yeah, that was, no, I, I would love to be on there again when I'm not joining after a hangout and a stream and <laughs> going on to a bunch of shirtless people. That was an experience, but no. I appreciate you hopping over though. Um, that's awesome. Good to see you again. I probably I probably said hey to you then. I honestly don't remember that night. So we, we don't do much of that here. I, I try to stay. I limit my, y'all know my drunk name, Cliffy. Cliffy is limited here. 
except on my birthday stream in two weeks. Um, check that out. <laughs> Actually, I may delete that after it happens. I'm like, I'm not going to make that public. Um, oh, yeah. Number three is number three is real good. Um, big Feet. Or, I hate saying Big Feet. Chris Big Feet's one. Just pour some Sazerac rye. Also a really fantastic rye. Um, the only reason it wasn't part of this flight is because these are all store picks. So, although, sorry for burping on camera. I, no I noticed Perry, he, he would always be like, I, really, I try to cover it up. Sorry about that. <laughs> so I did notice there was a rumor that went around today that Buffalo Trace is starting store picks of their Sazerac rye. If that's the case, that means they're going to have a store pick of their weeded bourbon with the Weller. They're going to have a store pick of their, obviously, Buffalo Trace Eagle Rare. I also saw they released a E.H. Taylor store pick. That is out. It's crazy on the secondary market right now. I can't believe how high that's going for and then they're going to have a rye. So they got all their mash pills store picks. That's really cool. It'd be a lot cooler if I could find them. So, <laughs> yeah. So that's interesting. <laughs> Brian, I love that. I love that. Yes, we don't talk about that. So, okay, I'm going to move on to number four. And then we're going to do a reveal of what I've been drinking. Oh, wow, that nose on number four. That is so weird. I wish I could better describe how that is. That's so weird. It, it, it's reminiscent of a toasted barrel rye from Michter's, which is one of my favorites. That's like straight up marshmallow fluff, like the, the super sweet condensed marshmallow. I have never had anything that smelled like this. That's like dessert in a glass. So I'm going to drink it again. This is so good. I'm, I'm excited to find out what this is. <laughs> Honestly, if anything shocks me, it's what this one is. I swear to God, this is like new riff. <laughs> I'm hitting Ian up. I'm like, hey, send me some more new riff single barrels. Um, yeah, birthday Cliffy could be dangerous. Hey, Lil, you got to tune in to see it. Two weeks, May 7th, you'll meet birthday Cliffy. Because I'm not doing anything else. So, um, Especially at 25 bucks. What, what are we talking about at 25 bucks? Um, trying to think of which one we're talking about. Um, sorry, I, I missed which one. Oh, wait, you're talking about what you're drinking. Oh, Cesar Cry. Yeah, duh. <laughs> um, yeah. 25 bucks, it's, it's it's a great price. Honestly, I love budget rye. My budget rye go-to has been Dickel rye. Because, by the way, if you don't know, this is MGP rye. They just filter it through charcoal, like the, the Tennessee process, whatever. Um, Juan's in here. Oh, wait, no, Juan, he's, Juan's been here, I think. Or maybe not. <laughs> What's up, Juan, if I, if, if I missed you earlier? Sorry. Uh, Steven was lucky enough to try an E.H. Taylor single barrel at barrel strength. Ooh, that sounds... How? Steven... How? Because I know the new single barrel picks are not barrel strength. They're 100 proof. Um, E.H. Taylor barrel proof blows my mind. I only had a sample of it. I need to get a bottle of that. If anyone have a lead on a bottle of E.H. Taylor barrel proof, let me know. Um, drinking some Old Forester rye. Good choice. Um, that actually has been my go-to cocktail rye. I'm actually out of it right now. That and Knob Creek rye, not a store pick, but like the regular Knob Creek rye, are my go-to cocktail ryes. Pikes feel if I'm feeling a little adventurous, but yeah. Those, like, barely legal ryes are actually some of my favorite for cocktails. By the way, not to jinx it or anything, but has my internet connection been really good lately? Because I think I haven't noticed any dips lately. Not to jinx it, I'm sorry, but I just I just, I just noticed that. So I didn't change a thing. Like, literally nothing changed. I, I don't know. So, uh, so, but I've also seen, uh, you've seen it for over 60 in the same state. Ugh, that's, that's annoying. Oh, so Steven got a pour from Greece. So so did they do, like, a pick? Because do they give it to them at barrel strength? I guess so. Like, like with Elijah Craig picks, you taste it barrel strength. Um, that's interesting. I've never heard of that. That sounds awesome. And I'm so jealous of you, Steven. <laughs> okay. So I think I'm about to reveal what these are. First, let me pick my order. I'll do my order and my guesses, because why not? So my order is three, four, one, two. I'm sorry for number two being last. It's just not my favorite flavor profile. If you like that banana runts, you know what I mean when I say runts, like runts candy, like those little yellow, tiny little, like sweet tart kind of things. Um, yeah, see, it's good now. I, I swear my neighbors are still on my internet or something. I don't know. Um, maybe I should change my password. It's probably a good idea. Yeah, so I, I would go three, four, one, two is my favorites. I think number one, maybe the Knob Creek. I could be wrong. Oh, well, I don't even know. Whoa, wait, no, actually, mm, 
Let me see. Hold on. I'm looking at all my options here. Number two is definitely the Jack Daniels, in my opinion. I could be wrong. One is either the Knob Creek or the New Riff, I think. And then three, I think, is the Willet. Four? Oh, whoa, no. Maybe four is the Willet. I don't... Honestly, I don't know. But I, my favorite, in order of favorites, is three, four, one, two. Not to say any of them are bad. It's just number two is not my flavor profile. By the way, I see we're at 18 viewers. Thank you guys so much. Um... Most of you, I probably know you, but if you're new here, I really do appreciate you stopping in. Um, love to have you subscribe. Again, to get the little self-promotion there. <laughs> um, I go live on Thursdays. I put up produce videos every now and then. Um, but yeah, we have a birthday party stream coming up in two weeks that I'm very excited for. So y'all definitely want to be here for that, especially if you're new, because things are going to get a little crazy. There may, there may be some bottle jugs there, we'll say. But not of the dickle. I'm not going to chug any dickle. At least not on stream. Um... <laughs> Anyways, let's get to the reveal, shall we? So, okay, I don't have a way to do this in order. So, oh wait, no, I do. This might be fun. Okay, y'all are going to tell me what I'm drinking. So my last place, number two. Tell me what last place is right here. Um, oh, it's upside down. I'm so sorry. <laughs> tell me what last place is. And once you guys tell me, uh, 20, oh, thank you guys. That's awesome. Tell me what my last place is. My number two. What is number two? I don't want to read them all and spoil it for myself. Number two, what am I drinking? I know there's a bit of a delay. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, number two is my last place. Let's see. Sorry, I, I should have changed the um, latency a bit. So the lag's a little less. So I think number two is, is it what I think it is? I don't know. Maybe this, okay, this, this late delay may prevent me from doing this. <laughs> okay. Chris, yeah, Jack, Jack Daniels. Thank you, guys. Sorry, y'all just saw how much the delay was right now. Y'all saw these messages come through earlier. <laughs> um, oh, first of all, well, first of all, Jack Daniels last place. I don't know. It's just not my, it's, that Runt's flavor is not in my wheelhouse. Um, Brian and Tammy Bernicke, I appreciate the super chat. Um, y'all definitely want to save those for my <laughs> birthday stream because those are going to get y'all something real good. That sounds wrong. It'll just be fun. <laughs> Cheers, Brian. I'm not going to cheers you with my last place. So I'll cheers you with something I prefer over my last place, Dickle Rye. Cheers, Brian. Thank you so much for the super chat. It really does help me out, um, especially with all the bot. Honestly, I've bought more bottles on qu during quarantine than I bought without it. I told myself I'd slow down, but like, I see them go live on the internet. And I'm like, gotta get myself one of those. So, since there's some delay, I'll let go ahead and let you guys pick my third place pick, which is number one. So tell me what number one is. Yeah, super bananas, Tammy. Um, tell me what number one is. And then I'll, I'll do the final reveal of all of them. So tell me what number one is, and I'll look myself for, for first and second place because <laughs> the delay is really bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so I'm going to take a little another sip before you guys tell me the answer. I'm going to take a sip. I mean, go ahead and tell me, but there's going to be a delay. So I think this is... This is, it, t it smells like Knob Creek, but it could be New Riff. Yeah, number one is oaky, but like, there's not that much of a finish. And I wish I had a little bit more of a finish. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay, number one is New Riff. Thank you, Chris. Brandon, y'all all chime in at the same time. Um, <laughs> no, to be fair... My first, second, and third place were, I know, shame. sorry, Jack Daniels. I'm not going to tweet this to them. My first, second, and third place were way better than my last place, Jack Daniels. I'm sorry. It's not my thing. I'm sorry, Ian. You know what? I, I really, really dig the flavor profile in number one. I just feel like it lacks a little bit in the finish. It is the lowest proof. I'll, I'll be fair. It's the lowest proof. It, I mean, it's, it's really pleasant on the nose and really nice on the palate. So you got to think, New Riff is like $50, $60. Yeah, yeah, definitely recommend. All right, so we're going to reveal, might as well reveal my first place first, because like if I reveal the second place, it'll be obvious what's first place. So my first place result, which was number three, I think it's going to be the Willet. I think it's going to be the Willet, but I could be wrong. First place. Wait, oh yeah. Oh, whoa. Okay, okay. I did say this. Okay, I did say this. Um, So my first place was Knob Creek Single Barrel Rye which Brandon, you did good. Um, 
second place was the Willet single barrel rye. Now, I did note that I got the weirdest note I've ever gotten on whiskey with the Willet. And I was like, that can't be Knob Creek. Because, like, Knob Creek would never give you that weird nose. And I've never, I've had a regular Willet rye, but not a Willet single barrel. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> ah, so, um, by the way, my lighting is really bright. Sorry about that. You're seeing, like, that's, okay, maybe it's not normal. I don't know. I have a window here and my lighting is changing all night. So, well, way to go, Brandon, with the Knob Creek pick. <laughs> uh, it's, it's the, honestly, I've had, I'll say this. I really, really discounted Knob Creek rye picks. Um, so, Brandon, I'll tell you a little a funny story. So, <laughs> the only reason I delayed drinking your rye pick that you gave me for Christmas, which, by the way, thank you, um, I had a Knob Creek rye pick from K&L when I first, first moved out here. And it was so uninteresting. It didn't have a long finish. It was just straight up rye. It just wasn't quite there. And y'all know I love K&L picks. So I was like, maybe I just don't like the rye. So I saw you got me this. I'm like, I was ex of course I was excited to try a different pick, especially a seven year old pick. But I was like, I can wait on that one. You know, I don't I don't need to open it up. But wow, am I sad I waited, <laughs> or am I glad I waited because I have a full bottle? Yeah, that Knob Creek rye is fantastic. Um, great pick there, Brandon. I hope you got one too when you bought that one for me. So. Wearing the Jet Daniels hat makes up for it. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Danny. Um, yeah, the Knob Creek, I've not had the barrel proof. I've tried the twice barreled rye, and actually, I love, love, love the twice barreled rye. So, um, um, Adam says he never gets the dill pickle note in the Knob Creek rye. No, this is the one that I said didn't taste like a rye to me. It just tastes like a really well aged bourbon. This is the one that I compared to a Knob Creek 14 year old pick. So, maybe I was onto something. <laughs> Um, but let's talk about this Willet. So this one is, um, I, I don't know if Perry is still here, but he, he mentioned knowing what the Prav picks were. I think he said they were based in Washington, D.C. Um, so, oh, wait, that's the Jack Daniels. Sorry, wrong bottle. Wrong bottle. Where the hell is the Willet? Okay, found it. Sorry. <laughs> Too many sample bottles on my desk. So never mind, that was the Lincoln Road. So I think it was Brian that knew about the Lincoln Road. This is a six-year-old below your mind pick. So, uh, of course, you're not a rye guy, Brandon. I should have known that. You shouldn't. Have, you wouldn't have grabbed one anyways. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> Brian says, I've gotten messed up on Knob Creek rye old fashions a few more times than I'd like to admit. Yeah, I, honestly, old, okay, so I made a mistake last night. Um, I had a pour of, I don't know what it was, I had a pour. And then I had an old fashioned, okay, which is normally good for like a weeknight. Like, okay, that's it. I'm done. Then <laughs> I have a wine subscription box that I did like a trial of that was like basically free. That came in and I was already two drinks in. So I was like, you know what? What could a bottle of wine hurt? Okay. To be fair, I'll split it with Justin. <laughs> Half a bottle of wine hurt. I really want to drink this. We're about to have dinner. Have that. So, you know, at least for me, wine takes a minute to hit me. So I drank half a bottle of wine. I'm like, you know what? I need another pour. <laughs> Gosh, in a day yesterday, I had like two pours, an old fashioned and a half a bottle of wine. So you, you can imagine I wasn't feeling that great this morning. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I, I'm not even like the biggest wine guy, by the way. It's just like, I just get the cheap subscription boxes just to try them out. Um, about to educate you, Brandon. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've been trying, I've been trying to get Brandon to drink more rice. That's Knob Creek Rye. Man, I'm glad to have a little bottle. Honestly, <laughs> all these other ones are samples. This is the only one I have a full bottle of. So this is going to be my go-to for a while. Even, I mean, honestly, neat. I would prefer this neat. I'll do an old-fashioned just to try it, but I'll definitely do it neat because it's so good. Um, so, okay, question for you guys. Have you ever had a Willet single barrel rye? Am I weird to get that marshmallow note? So I get that, like, similar marshmallow note on toasted barrel, but it's more of, like, a marshmallow over the fire. This is like a peep. <gasps> Wait, a peeps note. Hmm. Oh, no, it's like perfumey peeps. It's like sugar. Like if you could ever f smell a fairy, <laughs> smell a sugar plum fairy, twinkle by your nose. <sighs> this is like, I would say it's like a Claire's perfume for like little kids. They're like, I want to smell sweet, like candy. That's what it smells like. <sighs> yeah, Chris, I... <laughs> Hey, it's okay. Well, we'll get on that dry week later. I did, I did good last quarter with a dry week, so I haven't done with it for this quarter. So, yeah, this one's weird. 
that's I don't even know how to describe this. I'm gonna save this. Um. So Brandon, next time you're over, I want you to try this. Will it? Because it's it's so weird. I don't know. Oh wait, so Steven says you, he's gotten or he have you gotten the marshmallow note or have you tried this before? Um, if you tried it before, did you like it? Was there like a weird note or is it just me? Is it just this pick, honestly? On the palate is fine. Really rye right forward. The sweetness comes, like the, the perfumey note comes on the back end. On the nose, though, that's all I get. I need to hit up um, Richie and find out what the hell is going on with this mint. Nope, never mind. Wrong one. Wrong one. What this Lincoln Road Below Your Mind pick is. Because that. Wait, maybe that makes sense. Below Your Mind pick. Because it literally blows your mind because you don't know what the you're tasting. Hey, definitely blew my mind. Um, but yeah, if y'all are ever in California, Southern California, check out High Times Wine. They actually, not just this, I've tried one of their regular Knob Creek picks as well. They are really, really good at picks, and they're very, very affordable, actually, for Southern California prices. They are very affordable. This one is, you can see the dates on it there. I don't know if they still have this one, but yeah, this is this is fantastic. I'm sad that I waited so long to drink it. <laughs> um, oh, okay, Steven, start... Sorry about the delay. You've had a pick with the marshmallow note. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to ask um, Richie about that one because that's that's so weird. I, I, I don't dislike it. It tastes way better than it smells. No, Brandon, I'm really good about saving like half drank uh, sample bottles. Some of them literally sit in my collection for like a year. I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot to finish that. Is it dated 412? Yes, it is 412. Oh, wait. Is that an important date for you, Adam? Maybe a kid's kid's birthday or your birthday or something? Yes, it's 4-12-2019 is the selected on date. Well, Brandon, you've had the Mictors rye. You, um, you had the, I don't know if you had the toasted barrel or you just had the barrel strength rye. You had a Mictors rye, though, for sure. Yeah, probably all sold out, right? That's true. I mean, well, to be fair, people don't buy not. I mean, people don't buy rice very often. I, I, rice sit on the shelf around here. No, no one really drinks them. I don't know why. I think it's fantastic. Oh, it's your birthday. Okay. Yeah. So they may not have it. Brandon's a lot closer to them to me. So maybe Brandon go back there next time. But I'm staying hunkered down and quarantined up here in North Hollywood. Um. Yeah, that was fun. I think I, I love these blind flights. It it blows my it blows my mind how my bias is like has no impact on this or whatever other than you know Mister Mister Jack Daniels I'll go with that one just while we're chatting I'll drink some more of the Jack Daniels because it I get okay here's my thing I get banana note on Jack Daniels all the time but this rye is straight up runts candy. Ah, I don't know. I can't dig it. I can't. I can't. I'll drink it. Um, so, we have, we finished a little early. Do you guys have any questions or comments or suggestions for future stream, future streams? Um, would love to hear them. Um, or any ideas for my birthday stream. <laughs> I'm going to get a um, get a Google voice number up and running. I also may do... So, okay, just to gauge the interest. How many of you, two weeks from now, would be willing to do a stream yard and just pop on for like five minutes or less and be like chat with me for a bit if y'all are down to do that i will do like a stream yard stream and send y'all the link um so y'all can pop in and like not that you have to say happy birthday but like pop in ask me some questions um and it's like it's gonna be an open invite to anyone um if y'all are down for that I'll, I'll happily do that for the stream um tammy loves right yeah yeah right right just it's so underrated Um, I think Brandon may or may not have tried the... I've had a few barrel picks from the High West Double Rye. Um, one's finished in Ar Armagnac casks and one's finished in Scotch casks. Thank you, Brandon. This, by the way, this picture, I know y'all can't see it. It's actually a breakdown of a bunch of different whiskeys and their ma mash... Okay, so the outer ring... W w outer ring is like... Honestly, I don't know. Either way, it breaks down it by mash bill, where it's produced, um, proof, barrel entry proof, like bottling proof and barrel entry proof, 
and something else. It's actually really, really detailed. Like, y'all can't see, but each of these little dididididits are a different whiskey. It's, it's, it's honestly, I got it as a secret Santa exchange um, on Reddit, surprisingly, like two years ago. I just put the, like, whiskey, and they're like, oh, I'll give them this poster. And actually, I, I love, love, love this poster. I wish I could show it more often. Um, I, I was going to put it here as, like, a reference, so I'd be like, okay, High West is 52% corn, like, something like that, but... Um, so wait, Brandon, I missed, I missed that you were sick. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't realize that sucks. Um, okay. So y'all are, uh, still have the 2018 Knob Creek rye local pick too. It's so good, but just doesn't move off the shelf. Yeah. I don't, I don't get what it's, what's up with ryes. Uh, Chris says chat with Glyphy probably towards the end. Yeah. Yeah. So Lil says, yes. Steven says, sure. Um, Brian and Sammy says we would do that and Brandon if he's feeling better. So sounds like we're going to do a, a, a community y'all. Don't, and also y'all don't have to like stick around the whole stream for the birthday thing. Y'all can just pop in for a little bit and we can, you know, say our quick words and move on. But I'm honest. So spoiler alert, what I'm going to do is I'm going to like drink all my favorites. I may or may not uncork a, my only BTAC bottle I've ever bought, which is the, um, Thomas H handy. So, y'all might see an uncorking of that one. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, sorry. Back issue. Got you, Brandon. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> Justin should get on my stream for my birthday. I try, y'all. I try. I try to bring him on. I even try to bring him on when we're, like, doing hangouts. I'm like, literally, no one's going to see this afterwards. No one's going to judge you. <laughs> we're just hanging out, having a good time. So, you know, he's camera shy. Upper 40s, lower 30s. Ooh, that sucks. Right now, it is 90. It was 92 degrees here in LA. That's not normal. I don't know why it's so warm. I went out to my car wearing my freaking full-on face mask, which, by the way, this has been my, like, fashion lately. And my friend, actually, Chelsea, made this for me. I like it a lot. She made it for free, actually. She gave us free masks if we... We didn't have to, but she um offered... She's like, they're free, but I do support this nonprofit. So if you're interested in donating, here's a link. So I, I obviously donated. Like, that's so cool that she's making these for free to, for people. And instead of taking a profit from it, she's asking people to donate. So cheers to you, Chelsea. Um, I don't remember the name of that nonprofit. It's a local LA one here. Um, it's all about feeding. Um, I don't think it's homeless. I think it's more of like, um, maybe homeless, but like, LGBT youth or people that have been kicked out of their houses because they're gay or whatever, which of course I immediately identify with that. Like I never got kicked out, but I understand like, you know, that struggle. So I gladly, gladly gave. So I, I'll look into that uh, nonprofit for you guys. If you're curious, um, ain't nothing wrong with a handy on your birthday. <laughs> Steven, uh, better be, no, I'm not, not going to imply that, Justin's going to give me anything, but hopefully more than a, okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I'm getting to the end of the stream. I'm getting a little, y'all, I mean, y'all saw me last hangout. I, I went a little too, too overboard. <laughs> um, high, high West double rye, um, price range for high West double rye. Oh, I'm sorry. Psst. I'm sorry. I thought you talked about the weather. I literally thought you talked about the weather. Cause, um, I have a friend and I think he's, He's probably up north, but he he's had snow yesterday, and it was in the it was in the thirties. So thought you were talking about the weather. Sorry about that. <sighs> yeah, that's. I'm I'm back on the Knob Creek. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, Stephen knows I went overboard. Sorry again, dude. I promise I'm not like that normally. <laughs> but I think we're good to wrap up here. Unless y'all have any last minute questions, let me know. Um, I love hanging out with you guys. I, I always like saving this little last little bit just to chat because I feel like I'm like, boom, 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 going through my samples as I'm doing the stream. So, um, but if you don't have any questions, um, we can wrap up here, but I'm waiting a bit cause there's lag like crazy. So <laughs> there's that to account for. Oh, you had snow this morning. Wow. I didn't. Yeah. The weather's crazy. It was literally the hottest it's been all year in, in LA today. And y'all, yet y'all are getting snow. That's so crazy. I need to save some of this for Justin so we can try the marshmallow. And we'll save some for Brandon too. <laughs> I 
I'm just impressed my internet's hung on this long. I don't know what was going on. I, I can't explain it. But anyways, since we're getting a little quiet here, I um, just want to say thanks again for you guys for watching. Um, had a blast hanging out with you. I look forward to it next week and as well as my birthday stream. So um, still figuring out what I'm doing next week. I'm probably going to do a Jim Beam flight. It may or may not be blind. I'm getting a bottle of the Bonded, the Repeal Batch, the um, Distiller's Cut, Bonded Repeal Batch, Distiller's Cut, and a single barrel. So I'm going to do those four. I'm um, excited to tr try all of those. I might do it blind. Honestly, I love doing blind flights. They're so much fun. So anyways, cheers, you guys. Have a wonderful Thursday evening slash Friday because it's almost the weekend, even though the weekends aren't quite what they used to be. <laughs> But yeah, y'all stay safe, feel better for those of you that are sick, Donnie and Brandon and anyone else that's watching that's not feeling quite 100%, feel better and hope to hang with you soon. Cheers, Tammy. Cheers, everyone else. And drink some rye whiskey because it's undervalued, underrated, and there are some really, really rare finds there, especially when you're finding store picks that are this good. So keep an eye out for some Knob Creek picks, some Willet picks, um, Jack Daniels picks if you like the runs. So cheers. See you guys next week. Bye.